pills for here. I'm normal Chinese. I'm extra Chinese. Come on, you're racist. Okay, I'm normal Asian. Extra Asian. So, what questions did you have to ask me about the chopsticks again? I feel like I'm doing it wrong. So she's feeling like she's doing the chopstick wrong. How, how, how are you doing the chopstick? Let's see. Let's see how. Let's see. <laughs> Ew, I look weird. I oh do God, too. I look so good. Okay, show me how you do your chopstick. Come on. Right. You know what? I told her there's no wrong way of doing chopsticks as long as the food end up in your mouth, you're doing it right. Right? If you're holding the chopsticks and the food doesn't end up in your mouth, you're doing it wrong. But if you hold it anyway and the chopsticks end up in your mouth, you're good. <laughs> but like, if you're holding it up here, how do you... You can't put it in your, your mouth. That, see, it's, it still holds it and then you put it in your mouth. This can build some muscles for finger blasting. <laughs> You're funny. Now it's blasting all over your shirt. No, because there's this commercial. So there you go, guys. There's this commercial for like shrimp, you know? Shrimp. And it's like a little like salsa dip thing. And it's like, it's called finger blast. You could have your friends do it with you. <laughs> or you could just finger blast. Your, I, I want to show you the commercial. Oh, Lord. Here, it's called finger blast. But yeah, there is no wrong way of holding a chopsticks. That's what I say. If you're holding it all the way up here, all the way down here, or you're holding it any way, like form or whatever, as long as the food end up in your mouth, you're doing it right. So no worries. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.